Hello my sweet friends and welcome back to my channel Small House Big Home. In this video we have a lot of house projects that we're working on. As you can see we have a new dining room table. I'm going to talk, talk to you all about that and we have another little table for the living room we want to get redone and we have a ton of kitchen organization. So today's video is going to be all about just getting these projects done and getting the house ready for 4th of July. Yes, this is super dated footage, I do apologize, but it is going to be jam-packed with a bunch of motivation and inspirational content. I really hope that you guys enjoy. Alright, so this is the table that we found and I want to tell you a little bit about what our plan is. So. Chris does not have the equipment to turn table legs, so, and he has a mess over here, so please excuse his mess that he needs to clean up. Um, so I was looking online and table legs are really expensive, especially the really chunky, really cute ones. So we actually ended up finding this table on Facebook Marketplace for about $80, and it came with a set of chairs with um, legs that matched. We're not gonna use chairs, as you saw. We took the legs off and our plan is to make a bench to go with the table. Now, while we like this table, this top is really, it needs some love and it needs some help. And we kind of don't love it. It's a little bit wider than we want, a little bit longer than we want. So our plan is to completely rebuild the top and just use this table for its legs. But for now, we don't have the time to do that. So what we're gonna do is I am going to just paint the whole thing black. We're gonna throw a top coat on it and we're just gonna use it like that for now. So that's what this video is gonna be, just me getting this all set up. And then um, Chris and I were thrift store shopping and actually found this cute little table, um, super 70s if you can't tell. And I am going to get that one redone as well and hopefully be another side table to go next to the couch. So those are the projects on um, this video's list. If I have time, I will also be um, getting the spice cabinet and all of that organized and get that filmed for you guys so you can see that um in this video but for now let's get the table sanded and the other little table sanded so that we can get to painting So I talked about it a little bit in the uh, little interview part that I did, but I just wanted to reiterate, this is our brand new-ish kitchen, a dining room table, sorry. Uh, we got off of Facebook Marketplace for very, very cheap. We just kind of on a whim sold what we had built uh, just because we weren't really feeling it anymore. And if you know anything about me or anything about Chris and our channel, we can't sit still and we always end up changing things. So this is very, very us, we always do this. And our original intention was actually to build a new table, but we don't have the shop ready yet. And we knew that the getting the legs turned was gonna be really, really expensive. I kinda talked to you a little bit about that already. But we knew that the legs getting turned was gonna be really expensive, so we decided maybe we could find something really cheap that we like. And we actually just happened upon this table on Facebook, which was really awesome. I have to say, I do not buy anything full price anymore. It is always either thrifted, like this little table here, or off of Facebook Marketplace. There's no reason, honestly, to buy anything that is brand new anymore. It's just too expensive. So um, we lucked out and found this table on Facebook Marketplace. Our plan is to take the top off and completely rebuild it. We just really want to Frankenstein this table and just use it for the legs. And we also have some chairs that we got rid of that were with this table. 
but we took the legs off the chairs that matched the table to make a bench out of. So you see four chairs in this clip, or in the ending clip, and we like the chairs. We actually bought them specifically for this table, and because we love them, we love the design, we, we actually thrifted them as well. We found them at a thrift store. And what's really funny is that both of us kind of like that style, but we didn't know, we didn't talk to each other about it, and we had both kind of happened upon them, and it was like, oh my god, this is perfect. And we looked at each other and we were like, oh really, you like these? <laughs> and so it was pretty funny. But we got these chairs thrifted to go with this table, and as you can see, I'm painting this table black. My, like I said, we don't like the top of the table had a lot of scratches, was really messed up. So we went ahead and went black with it and my intention was to go really matte black. I thought that it would be a really cool dramatic moment. I'll talk to you a little bit later about how the finish ends up looking. But that is kind of what our plan is with this table. We're just going to sit with this table for now in the black. Whenever we get the shop done, we are going to take the top off and completely rebuild whenever we get to that point. So that was a very long-winded way of saying this is like phase one of this project and it was honestly just to get a table looking fairly nice and not have just an obviously thrifted table just sitting in our dining room because Chris and I kind of can't do that. Things have to be finished in our eyes or it just drives us crazy. So this was our way of kind of finishing it in the moment. And a cool little hack that um, I did not really explain we don't like using the paint trays. I personally think it's a waste of money. We just use a ceramic plate, or if you have like a plastic plate that you don't like or something, and you put a trash bag or a plastic bag over it, it is a perfect um, painter's tray and you don't have to spend the money on one. Just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions. not the next day nor the next day um, my mom and my sister were here helping with the painting and everything to kind of get it under wraps just because um, I'm kind of a deadline here I have to get everything done before July 4th since we have Chris's family coming over so they were actually able to help me get a lot done I did not film all of it I apologize but you can already see the table looks absolutely gorgeous behind me. And also that little bitty table is super gorgeous as well. I was able, the table's completely done. It just needs to cure. So I got three coats of paint and three coats of polycrylic on it. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to set it up. You will see it set up in this video. Chris and I will get it all 
um, arranged and beautified for you guys. And then um, this little table, I just need to throw one more coat of polyacrylic on it. And then while that dries, I'm all waiting for Chris to get home. We will get organizing on the spice cabinet and stuff. So let's get this done, get these projects finished and finally see the end result. I know it's not finally for you guys cause like you were just watching me put the first coat of paint on the table, but it's been a few days and it's a finally for me. So I apologize for not showing the footage of a painting of this piece, but you will be able to see some very satisfying before and afters at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to see that. But I chose this taupish color kind of to stay within the neutrals, but because I, I obviously love neutrals and not to go with another black piece because I love black furniture, but I do think that there is a point where you do too much and we have the black china cabinet, now the black table, the entire living room has black furniture with a little bit of mixed of wood. So I thought this taupey color would be a really cool way to kind of stay in the neutral family, but also give this piece a little bit of character and get away from that traditional 70s finish. And I think it ends up looking really, really great with the gold accents that I have. And I will definitely be showing you that hardware in a little bit, so make sure that you stay tuned. And what's really cool about this piece is that in some lights, it ends up changing colors and looks purple. <laughs> I don't know if I like it entirely, but for the most part it does stay brown. Uh, it's just kind of cool how paint tends to do that in different lights. So now that I'm just waiting for the pieces to dry and cure, because that was the last coat of poly that needed to happen on the little table, I am now tackling the kitchen organization. So this is going to be my spice, the spices cabinet and the baking cabinet. We have a very small kitchen, so we really don't have a pantry space at all. So we have to make sure that all of this kind of fits and fish fits efficiently. <laughs> Tough words to say. <laughs> um, but what we had right now was really not functional. We had added those little shelves in the spice cabinet area, and I'll show you that a little bit later, in a little bit later clip. But we had added those little shelves to kind of try to bring some organization to the spice cabinet, but Chris has a problem with spices. He ends up just buying them, and um, so we were soon overloaded with spices. Also, our baking has never really been organized. We actually had several bags of sugar because every time we have somebody, people come over, we always make sweet tea. We do live in Texas, so sweet tea is basically a food staple around here. Um, but we are always buying sugar because we can't remember if we have any, and we have like five or four or five bags of sugar. So just things like that that definitely needed to happen. Um, I will uh, link all the products that I use below in the description box. Most of it is from Amazon. A lot of it you're probably going to remember seeing and maybe other YouTube videos. I did get a lot of inspiration from a lot of other YouTubers and um, like on Instagram and TikTok and it was kind of nice that I just kind of took the time to compile um, all of the products that I wanted to use so that I made sure that I needed everything that I bought. Get started. It's 
time to get my head up again You said that you had to I'll try to forget you Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers again If you're familiar with these jars um, from Amazon, you know that they actually come with little labels, but Chris and I, we use, well it's not me, it's mainly Chris, <laughs> he uses a lot of weird spices and not a lot of the labels have that, like that random spice, and he wants to make sure that he knows like the brand too, um, so like that steak and burger seasoning that you see right there, he needs to know that it's Uncle Dave, so it was like stuff like that so that he knows exactly what he's using if he happens to really like a combination to remember <laughs> long story short my husband's a little high maintenance with the seasonings <laughs> uh, so I went ahead and just used my um, label maker uh, to make the labels so that they would all be cohesive and I ended up just donating the other little stickers to Goodwill also, you can see that I watch, am watching the TV. I realized that in a lot of my videos, I am watching TV. And I think that I am a TV watcher. <laughs> I watch TV all the time whenever it comes to like cleaning and stuff. I get really bored really easily. And so I guess I like that, like having somebody to talk to me and just like seeing stuff to watch. And I don't know. I know that a lot of people like watch me, like listen to music or listen to podcasts or something, but that's just not really who I am. I like watching TV. So I'm curious to see who is team TV, who is team music, and who is team like podcast while they clean. Go ahead and comment down below so we all know what you prefer to watch or enjoy while you're cleaning and organizing. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page.
option to be someone else I would And like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious But I'm made this way But why didn't I stay When I had the chance Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page So stay tuned for the before and afters on the spice cabinet. I just wanted to get the baking cabinet done as well, but the spice cabinet is looking great. I am loving those little spice canister things that I got. And now it's time to organize the baking cabinet. And as you can see, we have a ton of stuff to get into the decants. How do you say it? Decanted? Decantered? I don't know, but we have a ton of things to put in these little containers and get labeled. I just wanted to use the same um, system with the label maker again, just so that it all looks cohesive and nice. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. So as you can see, I was having a lot of trouble with this. I was going back and forth. Um, our cabinet really just isn't big enough to make it look good. And the end result is definitely a rough draft. I am probably planning on um, 
just continuing to play with it and kind of see what I can do to make it look good. I really like the way the spices turned out, but the baking still needs a little bit of help to make it look a little bit more cohesive and not so thrown together. Yeah, I wonder. And now that the organizing is done, we are back to finishing up the projects. First on the list is the table. Uh, we, needed, we needed to vacuum underneath it and just get it set back up. Last but not least, we are getting this little table finished. We, Chris here is actually getting holes set up to put in the hardware. He was giving me heart attacks because he kept saying, ooh, like he would hit the finish on the table. And I said, oh my God, babe, you need to step away from the table, do that somewhere else. <laughs> but he's a professional, I trust him for the most part. <laughs> but look at that, he could have seriously made something. <laughs> but uh, we need to get the hardware on and the legs on. We ended up having an issue with the legs, which is basically the story of our life whenever it comes to trying to get projects done. Um, but I wanted to apologize because whenever Chris does stuff, I have an issue keeping up with him with the camera because he works really fast and he wants to just kind of get it over with. And he's very good at what he does and because of that he can work super fast. So I have an issue kind of keeping up with him, like he totally put the handles on and I was not able to film it because I had to go run and do something else. And I was like, babe, why didn't you wait for me? And he was like, oh, I just want to get it done. So I want to apologize whenever Chris gets involved, we have to do everything very, very quickly. But this is the next day, we are finally getting the legs on. We had to add, or Chris had to add some planks of wood here to make sure the legs had something to be adhered to. Uh, before it was just an empty space but we got everything is good we got the legs on um, and 
pretty soon I will be able to set it up and decorate it. But you have reached pretty close to the end of the video. If you have watched this whole time, I very much appreciate it. Um, us YouTubers, we really rely on watch hours to, um, you know, get paid and get appreciated for our content. So, and also to like get our content kind of pushed out to other people. So if you really like my channel and um, that is a way to support it and I just really appreciate you for sticking with me this long. I know I have a tendency to do a lot of longer videos but it's just because I really love doing this and bringing you content. So definitely if you liked it, if you liked this today's video, uh, give me a thumbs up so that I know to keep making videos like this. You know me and you know my channel so you know that I'm going to keep coming out with these uh, makeover videos. If you would like to chat, go ahead and leave me a comment down below, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys, and have a good rest of your week.